Morning guys, I hope you're all doing well. This video is a difficult one to make, but also I have to be careful kind of how I outline everything, not to kind of say the wrong thing in terms of making people think that I'm just going to stop pipes entirely, because that is not the case. Um, but as I mentioned earlier in the year, um, I had gone full-time pipe making on what I assumed was kind of a temporary basis in between career change. And now that, that change has now came. And what it will mean is Jack Ryan Pipes will cease to kind of be what it has been. Um, I will still hope to make pipes as often and as regular as I can, but at the same time I have to manage expectations, at least in the short term. And what that means is kind of up until now, for the last, which I think, what's it been, three new three and a half years or so, uh, I've made pipes on a kind of part-time basis and again in the last kind of I think maybe four or five months on a full-time basis. Um, I've always done of course availables and commissions and I would say going forward when it comes to available pipes I typically, of course there's been the occasional week here and there um, but almost without fail for the last kind of three and a half years um, I've always had an available, at least one available per week, and typically that was on a Saturday. Uh, going forward, at least in the short term, I imagine the weekly available will be no more, almost definitely, um, to where there might only be one or two av availables each month. So again, I'm not stopping pipe making entirely, but it will become much more of a spare time um, passion, which I hope to still do as much as I can on a monthly basis. Um, that being said, again, I plan on still having a commission list open. Um, just now, for example, I've kind of got two or three commissions left on the books, which I'm working my way through. Um, and once they're done, as of filming, um, I won't have any commission on, on the books, but I'm still will have a commission book and I imagine going forward that will be kind of the main way to get one of my pipes because the availables will be so kind of sparse here and there maybe again one or two a month that in certain months when there's always tends to typically be more demand for example partly through the year or the end of the year um, I would say the best way to get one of my pipes will probably be via commission. Again, because of the time, will I have the chance to do four or five commissions a month? No. To where, again, I imagine my commission list, if I'm fortunate enough to get commissions, will go to more of that kind of very traditional kind of artisan pipe maker commission list where instead of it being a two or three week turnaround, it might be a two or three month turnaround. But again, as time goes on, I'll manage expectations and go forward and through with that. Um, but I wanted to kind of outline this a good couple of weeks in advance to kind of get things set up and prepared. Um, I don't plan on starting uh, this new job until the start of November. Um, so I've still got, what was it, about five weeks or so um until then so again a lot of pipe making to get done in between now and then to kind of get set up and kind of get ahead of everything um when it comes to pipes of the year typically my pipes of the year come out um mid to the end of no november uh, that is still the plan in the case however what will change for me personally is i plan to start to make those pipes next week so i can hopefully get them done prior to November because I don't want to be in a situation where come kind of mid-November I'm struggling to try and get the last one or two done um, so on top of availables and commissions over the next kind of three or four weeks that's my plan is to try and get this year's pipes of the year um, complete and made uh, for the most part um, ready to be made available kind of mid-November um, I typically try and do, I believe in previous years, mid-November, so hopefully no matter where you live in the world, you get it kind of start of December, but most importantly, of course, 
it's before the end of the year. That's why I've always ensured I've, I've kind of got them done and ready for availability in November and not kind of midway through December when postage is always a bit of an issue and very slow. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of a very brief overview. Um, again, there will be much more to come out and I will outline any questions that anyone might have, but I am not stopping pipe making entirely. That is not happening. Um, Jack running pipes will still be a thing. Again, it will just be on a much more infrequent basis. Um, I suppose if there is any collectability to my pipes, I don't know if there is, um, I'm sure it will make them a bit more collectible because the availability on a yearly basis will just be a lot less. Um, saying that, my yearly kind of production run just now isn't exactly huge. Um, but I imagine my yearly production will go from what it is to probably a quarter, if not a little bit less. So again, I'm just going to manage expectations um, for people that buy my pipes and are interested in my pipes. That kind of those that kind of common weekly available um, as of November. And again, just to clarify, all I'm saying is from. The start of November, so kind of throughout October, commissions and availables will still be at their normal pace. Um, it's just until I start the new job in November that things will slow down dramatically and change. But again, again, there will be no changes to the channel. I still plan uploading as often as I can, as I do now. Um, what I will probably do is to kind of give myself a bit of a buffer again. Certain videos that are maybe filmed outdoors I'll try and kind of put a few in the bank here so come kind of November and December I've got a few I can upload on a weekly basis um, to make sure there's still content on the channel. When it comes to the channel of course one thing will change is cigar related videos that will be dropping off a cliff as we enter the cold months um, but that always happens. Uh, when I do post Kind of cigar related stuff on the channel. It's typically in the more summer months, but um, cigar box Sundays, which again I do on a monthly basis, will still be a thing. Uh, I'll still make sure to get those out. The aim is still once a month um, on a Sunday, but that again, it, it just depends. But yeah, so hopefully that's kind of a bit of an insight into the next couple of weeks. Um, what can I expect before the transition change um, in my career? Again, I'd just like to outline and thank everyone for like, the continued support over the last couple of years. Uh, it's been fantastic, really, really amazed, especially in the last couple of months where I've gone, kind of tra transitioned to being full time. The support has been fantastic. And again, just like to thank you, everyone, um, for this continued support. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, kind of, I will try and outline some more videos again. If anyone's got any questions, leave them in the comments uh, section below, or you can email me, uh, jackryan.pipes at hotmail.com. Again, all the information uh, will always be down in the description box below. Um, like I said, yeah, it's kind of, there will be changes, but again, I'll try and make the changes as small as possible while, of course, managing expect expectations. Um, I imagine the biggest change will be when it comes to availables. Um, for example, I do have two availables uh, currently available on the website, this non-filtered Lovat and this r rusticated um, 9mm filtered Dublin. Uh, they're both currently available and they are currently on sale too. So if you're interested in a new pipe, uh, those are the two current availables I have listed on the website. Again, I plan to keep everything posted. Um, I would encourage you to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and that's, that's where I'm most active. And again, I'll keep kind of people probably more up to date there as I can because it's just a lot easier to do a quick post. Um, but yeah. Again, when it comes to live streams, um, I still plan on doing a weekly live 
um, when I can. It might not always be the exact time or the exact day, but again, yeah, that's something I will kind of plan in advance and kind of I can update as as we go. Um, but again, it is for the first at least couple of months. It, it won't be new. It'll be a lot of kind of adjusting and getting used to. But I'm sure we'll get there in the end. But yeah, that being said, hope you guys take care. You have a great rest of your week. Cheers.